What is up heroes, this is Minite Zero, and welcome back to Let's Play Banjo-Kazooie. In the last episode, we finished up Click Clock Woods, and you can see here that we have 100 Jigsaws and 900 Notes, and it's obviously taken us almost 8 hours to actually do that. Not quite a speed run by any means, but we'll hop back into the game here and see what we can do. We were just about to explore, I believe, there was a note door that we had seen. I think it was for 700-something notes or something like that. And that is what we were going to do next. Where do I want to go for... which cauldrons do I want to use? I think I'm going to go this way for that shortcut near Click Clock Woods. Was it this way? No, it was in here. That's what the secret is. See, a lot of times when I play this game, I, already kind of, I always kind of do the exploration ahead of time. So, you guys don't see me kind of fumbling around Gruntilda's lair trying to find wherever I left, or like, uh, left off on the last episode, but now you do. So, here we are. We have our invincibility feathers, which is lovely. And we're back where Click Clock Woods is. Really fun level. Really enjoyed it quite a bit. Aw, oh, man. That's a bit of a bummer. So, we'll... You know what? We're just gonna... We're just gonna go. Okay, maybe this whole just going thing wasn't really the best idea, but hey! We'll be okay, I think. Oh... Do we have to adjust the water again? I think we do. So this... This could be bad. Come on! Oh, man. Alright, well I think we can actually get up to that water switch this way. Was it this way? Or no, it was maybe through here. Yeah, I think it was through here. So let's go ahead and do that. That's a bummer. So we just recently got the Jiggy in Gruntilda's lair that was out here. But now we need to... Oh, it's only for 30 seconds. Interesting. I'm trying to remember what exactly we need to do. This is Click Clock Woods. There was a door. I thought it was higher up though, wasn't it? Did the water already go back down or what? Like I thought... Maybe I'm completely just missing something though. But I can almost swear that there was a note door even higher up. I can see it's quite hard work to lump around that squawking jerk. But also, it looked like the water didn't even really stay changed for that long, right? Where was that last door? Was it to the side of... No, I could swear it was in one of these scenarios. Alright, well, I guess what we can do is swim down under into the other side and see if there's anything there. Although I apparently missed whatever connection there was supposed to be. How do we get across to the other side? It's down here, right? Yeah, okay. So, we'll have to keep an eye out for the red eyes. You guys are like, oh no, it's already starting. So the water comes down. Hmm. We'll figure it out eventually. I promise, guys. I should have just kept playing since the last, or right after the last episode, rather than wait a little bit. I feel like that waiting has made me all confuzzled <laughs> due to the the water being reset and everything. I hope that when we go through here the water stays. It looks like it is, or should be. So I think we can go all the way up here. Is there some other door up here that I'm missing? Oh, it's this one. Hurry, 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 hurry. Okay, I think this is where we want to be, guys. Oh! Okay, well, this isn't really what I had in mind, but we found Cheeto again, right? Cheeto Bear and Bird have found once more. Another spell they get. I always anticipate the rhyme. If one more page I see you turn, then Grunty shall Cheeto burn. <laughs> Nasty witches, so code I shall tell. Enter gold feathers on sand castle floor in Treasure Trove Cove. So it seems Treasure Trove Cove is our usual place to input all of these various cheats. I'd imagine they just give us unlimited of, you know, those specific items. 
Can we make it over here? We can. Is the door at the end of this? I didn't think it was. But maybe it is. We... That was that area. So I'm actually going to break this open. Because due to our mishaps earlier, we are definitely low on health. But now we're doing just a little bit better. And if I recall correctly, this was an area that I was... I remember swimming down here and I was like... Wait a minute, why is this down here? Because it's blocked off. So that is not where we need to go. But I remember a cauldron being on the other end of the area. Oh boy. Where is this note door? How bright they are, your stupid shorts. A target for... My dumb cohorts. That's actually really funny. Is there something further up? There's that for Cheeto. Anything higher up here? No? I could swear it was water-related though, right? Like, I'm not going crazy, am I? I swear we had to raise the water level a certain amount. Oh, and I just swam right into this guy. Lovely in order to reach a particular door, and I swear it was in that room. But maybe not, I guess? Hmm. Maybe we'll exit this area here, and this is where it was. We needed to... No? Okay. Yeah, that's a definite no. I definitely do not remember it being all the way out here. So we'll go back in and see what we can find. I may just do some... Oh, I think it's all the way up there. I may just do some editing magic. And be like, yep, we finally made it there. <laughs> Took forever, but we finally made it. Because I think I have to get up there. And then I can come across. Oh, I remember. Oh my goodness. I remember you guys are going to be so upset with me. We didn't have to do anything with the water at all in the first place. We just had to be in here. Oh, I wonder if I'm going to edit that out. Because that, that was a good amount of time we spent just kind of walking around, not really doing anything productive. We did find Cheeto. We did find Cheeto. So I, I do need to give myself credit for that. But here is the door that we were talking about. 765 notes. We've got that in the bag. So off we go to our new area. Again, take a look at the textures on the side. They have these, like, faces in them and stuff. It's it's a really cool idea. What do we have here? You can see the question marks and everything. We're going to be greeted with Tootie. Have we, have we won the game? Not quite yet. <laughs> I've always wanted to be on a game show. Welcome all! Grunty's the name. Banjo's here to play my game. My lair is done and here he stands. Through all my tricks and traps and lands. This final test will see me win. When Banjo fails, then I'll be thin. <laughs> the prizes on this stand bring joy. From 2D down to cuddly toy. <laughs> My little quiz will make you sweat. And Tootie, you shall never get. Because somewhere soon along the way, your lack of skill will make my day. Because in the fiery pit you'll go. And I will win the prize on show. So step on over to the square. Press A to try it if you dare. <laughs> I love Gruntilda's lines. They're so funny. So the first thing I actually want to do briefly is activate this cauldron, which is really nice. Although I don't actually remember exactly where that goes. So we're going to have a lot going on. I may get quiet for some of these questions, and I might actually, I'm going to turn up my volume right now. So let's see what this says. A little answer is all I seek about this game, you furry geek. What, what question are we going to get? One doesn't exist, furry twit. In Monster Mansion, which is it? Which doesn't exist? The bathroom, the cellar... The cellar and the bathroom exist. It's not the kitchen. Nice. 
<laughs> I love that everybody's like, boo, a lucky guess, you got it right. The next squares, yours without a fight. A visual challenge, stupid bear, to tell me who it is or where. All right, we'll give it a go. Here's a character from the game. Do you know the dumb thing's name? Oh, what, what is his name? We'll find out in a moment, right? It is Trunker, I think. Nice. I love all the sound effects, too. They're very funny. Hear the crowd, they boo and hiss. To see you fail, they would not miss. We can take a look. The energy that you have found won't stop me making 2D round. So this is Grunty's Furnace Fun. It's quite the clever sort of final boss type interaction, if you ask me. In Bubble Gloop Swamp's giant egg, what's not inside you needn't beg? Hmm? There, what's not inside you needn't beg? Um, an extra life, I think? It's on the outside. Okay, we're living. Now this is what I'm gonna need to listen to. A question on the sounds I play? Get it wrong to make my day! You pick up items on the ground? Which one makes this sound? Oh, of course, come on! That would be a musical note. We got it down. So we'll pick up this. I think the Joker is like a wild card you can use. It's kind of like a, a get out of jail free type card. And those red ones though, you see that extra death, right? I don't know if we want to risk that right now. So let's go over here. See the picture on my screen? Do you know where you have been? Ah, this is in Mumbo's Mountain. It's that totem pole. Or maybe it's not a totem pole, but I don't know what it's called. Mumbo's Mountain. I'd say we're doing pretty well so far. Planker's Cavern, Whale Needed Air. What did you swim through way down there? A series of hoops? Nope, a large key. The sound barrier. <laughs> We swam through the sound barrier to free Clanker. What is this? Prepare yourself to take a whack. Pick this test. You won't come back. Well, I mean, at this point, not gonna change my route. What is this? Little stings that make a bear shout. Whack them all before time's out. Oh, well, we're gonna do our usual. We've got plenty of golden feathers to make this work. Should use about five feathers, right? All right, so that was pretty successful. We'll grab this while we can. This is gonna be about Gruntilda, I think. I think it's time, so let me see how much you know of little old me. Look at my build, muscles taut. What's my most enjoyable sport? Loogie flicking, belly bargain, barging, broomstick racing. I think it's bro broomstick racing. It was not broomstick racing. <laughs> Yikes. Fail a square and you'll feel pain? Please press A to try a again. <laughs> so this is what Brentilda is telling us about. She's giving us the trivia about Grunty that is relevant to these questions. Don't be smart, you've not won yet. When I was small, what was my pet? A greasy warthog, a mad vulture, that's what it was. We got that just the other episode. All right. Oh man, we've got a forced death square. That's a secret, did you know? It's just my, something about her, her, her sister telling us, get this wrong for Grunty's sake, then a lava bath you will take. Oh boy. See the picture on my screen? Do you know where you have been? This is Rusty Bucket Bay, it's in the kitchen. I do know where I've been. That is Rusty Bucket Bay. To the wonderful sound effect of Aerie the Eagle. Which way do we want to go? Do we want to go to left, right? Uh, I want to avoid the death ones. We'll, we'll go this way. I really want to avoid the death ones, guys. Sorry. Long route. Listen up now, then make your choice. Which character has this dumb voice? What? <laughs> Cranky Kong? Clanker the Whale? Cranky the Whale. Um, Cranky the Whale, I think? Do we even know a Cranky the Whale? I don't know. 
I don't even know. Do we meet a Cranky the Whale? I don't know. Get more wrong. Yes, that's the way. The crowds are happier today. That was rough. Listen up now, then make your choice. Which character has this dumb voice? Slapper the massive whale, Nipper the huge crab, Tank Top the giant turtle. Slapper the massive whale, did we even meet that person? Tank Top the giant turtle is my best guess, but it was it was a guess, <laughs> that's for sure. In Click Clock Wood, I have no doubt. In which season is there a drought? Ah, that's the summer, which, of course, you can intuit. Alright, a visual one, I like these. See the picture on my screen, do you know where you have been? That is going to be Clanker's Cavern. Alright. And now we got ourselves another grunty question. Look at my build, muscles taut. What's my most enjoyable sport? So it's not broomstick racing, I think it actually is loogie flicking then. Alright. Do we want to try to get the wild card? Yeah, let's give it a go. Just one chance to get this right. Win a joker, and help it might. When this piece of music is heard, which moves done by your stupid bird? Ah, <laughs> the classic Wonder Wing. I love that theme, it's so great. Wow, they give us a very generous um, sample. Wonder Stride Stilt Wing. <laughs> I love that. So we have two Jokers. Each Joker card that you have got will skip one question. That's your lot. Oh, press X to use it, you little cheat. When on a square, you get cold feet. Okay, so that's good to know. We can use those to skip some of the insta-death ones, hopefully. Listen up now, then make your choice. Which characters have this dumb voice? Oh boy. Interestingly, it's characters, right? So multiple. I think it's the Turtle Choir. If I had to... I think that's what it is. Oof. These sound ones are going to be the toughest ones, it seems. Listen up now, then make your choice. Which character has this dumb voice? Oh, this one actually sounds really familiar. Is that the walrus? Snorkel the dolphin, Waza the walrus, Robnut the squirrel. I think it's Waza the walrus. Hey, one of <laughs> what I actually recognized. <laughs> Lovely. I appreciate that they give me some help along the way. You pick up items on the ground. Which one makes this sound? <laughs> I think that's an extra life. Extra wife? <laughs> that's funny. Okay, now we've got another challenge with the timer. Oh, we're gonna have to do the memory game. Well, here we go. The tiles await for you to match. Time is tight, but that's the catch. All right, well, let's see here. So we have Mumbo. Can we take this out? No. We can, for at least a little bit. All right, we have a Jinjo and a Jinjo. Lovely. Okay, Honeycomb, Banjo. Music note, wow, we're getting a lot of diversity right off the bat. Kazooie, still more diversity. And a red feather, okay, so now we'll, we can go with this one, I think it's a red feather. What? I don't want to take damage as a result of this. Mumbo, Mumbo was our first one. Okay, so we'll do that. What do we have here? Kazooie, that is over this way. What do we have in the corner? Music note. What? Come on, I'm I'm doing my I'm doing my thing. Is this the music note? Ah, uh, no, it was this one. Wow, we are actually really low on time. We have banjo. Banjo is here. What do we have here? Honeycomb piece. That's gonna be over here. And now we just have two left, and it's gonna be a photo finish. Wow. Literally with three seconds left. That was that was pretty tight, guys. But we made it. Ooh. So I think we'll keep going this way. We're gonna have two grunty questions though, which is not ideal. Mumbo's mountain is easy for sure. How many jigsaws open its door? Isn't it just one? 
We only can get one before Mumbo's Mountain, right? Nice. Killing it. See the picture on my screen? Do you know where you have been? That's a tough one. I would bet on Treasure Trove Cove, though. Click Clock Wood, Treasure Trove Cove, yeah. Alright, I'd say we're doing pretty well. Also, just again, to emphasize how cool this is for a concept, that it really forces you to think back on all of your adventures throughout the entirety of the game so far, visually, audit or like, orally, auditorily, <laughs> um, and then in terms of just little fun facts about Gruntilda, of course, making Gruntilda actually relevant, and then little, of course, um, challenges in terms of actual execution, like the matching game and stuff. It's very fun. A little more, it wouldn't hurt. What would I have for dessert? Rat sorbet, cockroaches and cream, eyeball ice cream. Oh, what was it? Do I even know? I think it was rat sorbet. But I can't say that with 100% confidence by any means. I'm not pretty, I'm quite a mess. What do I hide under my dress? Oh, I think we... Massive bloomers, a reinforced girl... I think it's a... Oh. I think it's a flea circus. Or is it a reinforced girdle? Darn it. <laughs> What's funny is like, I think I've watched speed runs in which I've heard some of these answers, so I'm having a tough time. Let's see if your memory's foggy. What's the name of my pet doggy? I'm having a tough time. Big Necka, Ripper. We'll go with um we'll go with Ripper. Uh, none of these stand out. But I think I'm confusing some of the answers with some of the ones that I've seen other people get on their runs of banjo. You pick up items on the ground, which one makes this sound? That would be a red feather. Feather pillow? <laughs> Gold feather or red feather? I think it's a red feather. Nice. Oh, we got ourselves another event. And oh, we have two death squares. I'm going to want to save my jokers for that, so what do we have going on? Oh, another memory game. Watch as the turtles sing their song. Repeat it quick. You won't get long. Okay. Here we go. So it's this one. What? I swear that- oh wait, no, it started here. I'm silly. And then here. Come on, don't miss. And then here. Then here. Come on. And then here again. There we go. <laughs> Why did I start with the wrong one? I don't want to be losing health here. The rusty bucket is a tanker. What's stuck underneath its anchor? Ah, that's a, a dumb dolphin. <laughs> a silly seahorse, a clueless crab, or a dumb dolphin. Well, we got it. Can I skip this? Oops, that's the wrong button. Your joker misses out a square. Accept the test. You did not dare. That is 100% true. My looks at school were never thin. What award did I always win? Was it biggest butt, dirtiest undies, sweatiest socks? I think it was biggest butt. Nope. <laughs> was not... Grunty was not known for her biggest butt. The newsstand is where I've been. What's my favorite magazine? Warty Girls Weekly, Big Butts and Guts, Fat Hag Monthly. I feel like it was Fat Hag Monthly. It was not Fat Hag Monthly. And we are getting awfully low on health, guys. Apart from doing stupid rhymes, what's another of my pastimes? Bursting boils. It's bursting boils! That was a recent one! I don't remember any of them from the first few episodes, guys, but, but the recent ones, I absolutely do. Alright. So we passed that one with our wild card, and we've made it! No one can win, I was assured. By the makers of this board. It's not fair, I want to win. How I longed to be real thin. Now you can take the prize on show. While up the winding stairs I go. You won't catch me, I've made sure. All the credits you'll now endure. I love this part of the game so much, it's so funny. So Gruntilda makes her escape as we get the star prize. Which prize shall we take, Kazooie? 
me, me, me. Oh, I love this music. Er, how about that grotty ugly thing? I think we should take Tootie. That's what I meant. <laughs> Kazooie. Kazooie always throwing shade. Please, can we go home now, Banjo? I've had enough adventuring for one day. Sure. Let's get out of this dump. <laughs> Chief of Ideas, Greg Grunt emails. So this is hilarious. They literally are starting the credits. Tootie. More ideas. George Blubber something. <laughs> Buttles, Chief Keyboard Tapper, Chris Snacker Sutherland. All these titles that they're giving, so funny. The Jinjo, Deputy Keyboard Tapper, Morton Buzzbomb, Broders in. We got Mumbo Jumbo, Deputy Keyboard Tapper, Paul Big Clucker. <laughs> these are so funny. Juju, Deputy Keyboard Tapper, Graham Snippet Smith. And so they're literally showing the credits now to allow Gruntilda an escape. How funny is that in terms of just fourth wall breaking, right? We finally obtain Tootie. <laughs> this sound effect always reminds me of Donkey Kong 64. And I love Kazooie's sass, right, as they're trying to pick up Tootie. The music when you finally find Tootie is so uplifting, so cheery, I absolutely love it. Captain Blubber, Chief Scribbler. <laughs> This is so funny. We got Nipper, cartoony bits, and more scribbling. <laughs> Ed, Jinjo, Brian. I love that each of them has like a nickname based on one of the characters in the in the game. Scene Crayoner, <laughs> Steven Sandy Butt. <laughs> more sketching, John Napper Nash. I don't know if I want my nickname to be Napper. <laughs> Mr. Vile, other doodling, Chris Chompa. <laughs> this is so funny. Tip top. Okay. Big noise maker. Grant Kirkhope. Grant Kirkhope, the legend. Responsible for this incredible soundtrack. Chief free player. <laughs> I'd imagine that's a play tester, right? Then we got Waza. Rare free players. Steven Shrapnel, Brand Gareth. Groggy Glover. Gavin Grublin Hood. Steve Mr. Vile Malpass. Adam Moggy Munton. Sean Soggy Red. Or Reed. Jamie Jinxie Williams. Andrew Whiplash, Wilson, David Collywobble Wong. Again, this game just has so much personality, right? Paper Pushers, <laughs> Simon Lago Farmer, Eileen 2D Hotchberg. Then there's Gobi, Spellbook, Lee Leaky, Loveway. And then Ruby and Toots, <laughs> Strange Noisemakers, Evelyn Twinkley's Fisher, Lee Ripper Ray. Chris Slappa Seabor. This is Napper, right? Yeah. Anyway, big thanks. I think that's Nintendo of America. Logo. Big Cheese, thanks. <laughs> Mr. Yamauchi. Mr. Mumbo Jumbo. Arakawa. Howard Limbo Lincoln. Mr. Mum Mum Fukuda. Gail Naughty Tilden. And then there's Snorkel, Bean Counting, Joel Grava Hotford. Bean Counting. <laughs> Gotta love it. Moving and Shaking, Tim Tank Tup. We're seeing all our friends again. Credits for this shinier version 4J Studios, Keyboard Tapping Patty Burns, Chris Mullender, Richard Reeby. Ah, yes, of course, Nabnut. Scribblers, David Kenningale, Pat McGovern. And then we're back with Gruntilda. Big Cheeses, Frank Arnott, Patty Burns, Chris Vander. Cool. I love Big Cheeses. And then 2D again. Paper Pusher, Roni Percy. I'm pretty sure rare additional keyboard tapping. David, the Ancient One, Almond. Dave, Tumblr, Thomas. I'm fairly confident these get interrupted at some point. Paper Pushers, Andy Whiplash Wilson. Rich Rocknut Cousins. What a what a nickname. I'm fairly confident these get interrupted, right? Rare Big Cheeses, Mark Boombox, Betteridge, Simon Lago Farmer, 
Greg Grunt emails. Yeah, we've heard these people before, right? I'm, I'm hitting the buttons. How are we? How are we speeding this up? Wait, that it just ends like that if I hit B? What? I don't remember that being the case when I played this on the N64. Excuse me? Play game. Um, excuse me? What? What is... What is happening? The fourth wall has been absolutely shattered, guys. So... We've got... We've got a lot of work to do, don't we? So... We saw that fun little credit scene, right? We get introduced to all of our friends again. We see the funny sort of mock credits, right? Because we didn't really get... We didn't really properly beat the game. We didn't actually take down Grunty. Grunty was supposedly making her escape during those credits, so we have to go after her. So we'll do some teleporting. I don't remember actually where the yellow cauldron is, so we'll just go this way. And I actually remember where we're supposed to go this time. But I'm also trying to remember... What's it called? Aw, oh, man. Come on. <laughs> I think... There's some other stuff we need to do, potentially, right? There's some other things we can maybe unlock around Gruntilda's lair? Like, I think there's another Rip Cheeto thing we could find. Maybe. Maybe not, I guess. We'll head back up to Grunty's Furnace Fun and see what's going on up here. I don't think we have to play it again, do we? No, we don't. It's all unlocked now. So at this point, we need to just go after Grunty again. It's so confusing, but so fun. You're just like, wait, what? And then eventually you you hit the right buttons and the, and the credits end. And now you're like, wait a minute, we've rescued Tootie, or, or have we? Grunty's Furnace Fun. I love this billboard. <laughs> it's so fun. And in general, again, I love game shows, so it's really fun to be able to do this. The Star Prize. We'll let Banjo pose there for a moment so he can act all important like he deserves. There's Banjo, star prize of the game. <laughs> Not Kazooie, of course. Alright, let's head on up. These winding tower stairs. So funny. So this, you may recall, is the set of stairs from, I believe, the beginning of the game. When we see that cutscene. Ah, so that's the, the cauldron there. We have a note door with 810, which means... Again, from the nine worlds, you need to have obtained an average of 90 notes from each of them. Join me now in Dump the Bear, that little backpack, then I'll wear. I was going to say, I'm not sure what's up here, but there's probably something. Alright, well, we definitely we have all the notes in the game, right? So, we can break through here, and of course, you can see there's one last painting to fix finish. It's not over, stupid bear. See my picture over there. To fill it up is no mean feat. Lots of jiggies. Make it complete. That's true, but I think there's actually only a max of 16 we could really fill in. Oh no, we needed 25. Wow. I'm sad to say down there you'll stop, because I'm safe here at the top. Look at that. It's a very cool painting. Much appreciated. And again, you really need to pretty much have all of the jiggies in this game if you want to do... If you want to have a chance at... Um, what's it called? Trying to beat the game. So we'll take out this guy. Do you guys see that? I swear there's something fishy going on with the hitbox. But either way, we're, we're alright, I guess. There's some doors back here. Can I break this open? No. This is the lab. I swear there were some other doors we could potentially unlock. Right? Am I, am I going crazy? I mean, I know this is a slightly different version, right? So maybe some things are a little bit different, but... Oh, they're in there. Okay, so I saw the green, like, mist and everything, and I was all confused, but... No, we, we this isn't quite the end end yet. So now that we're here, we can go in this big cauldron to fight Grunty. Here's an 864 note door. Which is basically going to give us the ultimate or unlimited or something golden feathers. And over here, we have the ultimate blue egg, which is going to get us all the way up to our maximum. 
over here for 882. So really nearing perfection, right? We have, oh, what is, what is this? So we give four of our jiggies. That ugly bear, you feathered freak, is nothing but a stupid geek. And so that essentially doubles our life bar. So we have double all of our life. We've used, well, we have only two jiggies to spare. Are there any doors over here? There is one. Let's see, 846, red feathers. Okay, makes sense. So now we're at max red feathers, we're at max gold feathers, we're at max blue eggs. We have doubled our health, and I think we're finally ready to give this a go. Whew! What a disgusting smell. Ooh, visitors for Dingpot. I like. <laughs> I like visitors. It's a wonder you get any sewer breath. Oof. Ah, what's a strange birdie thing mean? Er, she said that we're looking for Gruntilda. <laughs> <laughs> do you know where she is? Banjo the fixer-upper. I sure do, Mr. Bear. Grunty's awful, you know. She was sick in me in earlier on. Oof. If you can get rid of her, I'll be free. Don't be sure, you silly pot. Soon I'll have you nice and hot. See these filthy clothes I've got? When I've won, you'll wash the lot. Uh-oh. <laughs> Don't worry, Dingpot. We'll sort her out if you can find us a way up. No problem. Just splosh on in and I'll fire you up to the top. <laughs> Thanks, Dingpot. Jump in there. No way, Dungbox. Come on, Kazooie. You get a chance to peck the witch's butt. Let's go. <laughs> of course, that's what Banjo uses to try to convince her. It's pretty funny. I like... It's pretty funny that the, the pot itself is not one of Gruntilda's henchmen, right? Did I tell you she puked at me? It was awful. <laughs> Again, the, the personality of this game is just incredible. Alright, so... Up we go! Whoa! I can't believe that furry pair... Got right up here. It's so unfair. But now the stupid bear must fight. This battle tests your skill and might. So it's been a while since I have done this battle, so we'll see how it goes. If I recall correctly, she's gonna... Yeah, she's gonna swoop in at us. And, well, apparently a couple times. Can we attack her like that? We can. Nice. I'll make you suffer, that's for sure. Something. We'll do some dodging, some bobbing and weaving, as she makes these, you know, dives at us. And eventually it looks like her, her broomstick's gonna give out a little bit, so that's our opportunity to attack her. I really should, um, do my talent trot when I'm trying to avoid these. But for the time being, we're okay. Oh, going back in for a third swipe this time, before gives out. <laughs> Reminds me of my car. I drive a 2005 Buick which runs it still runs don't get me wrong but um it's definitely not in its prime okay a fourth swipe before it probably gives out we get our hit in nice magic spell of banjo homing get him now to stop this something so this is a homing shot right that last whack did clap my ear but something something over here so, oh wow, that, that homing was a lot better than I had expected. I think we can attack her using this. That's not fair, I wasn't ready, I feel faint and all unsteady. So we can head on over this way. Wow, that, that's a lot more homing than I had expected. So we got a couple hits in there, which is nice. Run! Wow, so we're taking quite a bit of damage, aren't we? So she's gonna come over here. And this attack is a lot more, has a lot more homing potential than I had given it credit for. She gonna go over this way now? She is. So let's see if we can get in place and ready to attack. Oh, did all of those miss? Okay, one of them hit at least. So that's something. 
Nice, double hit. Is that gonna do it or what? See my broomstick, watch me fly? I'll beat your butt. Something, something. Quick, use this fly pad to get up there and teach her a lesson. Well, don't mind if I do. However, I am first going to get a little bit of HP back. So where is she? This reminds me of, uh, like, Crimson Skies or, you know, some sort of flying type game. Do I have to attack her straight on or is it just in general? Well, we'll, we'll try both, right? <laughs> Can't hurt to try. I just don't want to miss. Nice. Ah, right, you got me once again. Prepare to take this suzzle brain. Some of these rhymes are a little bit pushing it, but you know, I can I can appreciate it. I can appreciate the effort she's putting in. Come on. Is that gonna miss? Don't miss, don't miss, don't miss. Okay, we're alive, we're living. Wow, look at how epic this battlefield is. It looks so great too in this Xbox Live version, or the, the Xbox Arcade version, or whatever it's called. Did we miss? Oh, we missed. As usual, flying is proving to be the uh, the difficult part. That should do a hit. Nice. Bobbing and weaving. We're flying around. Kazooie definitely pulling her weight, figuratively and literally. <laughs> Darn it, that was not a good idea. I got way too close. It goes, watch me fly and pick my nose. <laughs> no, not while you're picking your nose, Grunty. Anything but that. All right, let's see here, come on. Oh man, I was a little bit too early. Whew. I love how intense the banjo is in the music too. You guys hear that? All right, she's kind of like making stops around the in a circle. So that's three hits. Do we need more? Seems like it, I guess, right? So she's probably gonna stop right around there. No, maybe not. What? What was that? So interestingly enough, he didn't actually do the attack in the direction that I had Banjo facing, but instead where my camera was aimed. A little late to be figuring this sort of thing out, right? But hey, better late than never, right? Look at me, I'm quite a mess. I need a shield to hide my dress. Need a shield? Is there something we can do to get rid of that shield? I could use a little bit of health. Hmm, I'm trying to run. Our new friends are in trouble. We Jinjos will help you. Ah, oh, the Jinjos. I hit those Jinjos really well, but must have used a lousy spell. We will help the Jinjos. So we'll wait till she attacks. And then I think we, darn it. We have to put eggs in here. What, I think I was too close. There we go. There's plenty of other spells in store. So Pink Jinjo comes to the rescue. <laughs> and attacks, nice. How that Jinjo stung and burned? He got my got me when my back was turned. Do we get a honeycomb for that? No, we don't, unfortunately. Okay, so I need to be careful about not getting too close either. Nice. So now we have the the orange Jinjo on our side. Thank you, Jinjo. And now we have the green Jinjo. Nice, nice. Jinjo is coming to our aid. Please be yellow. Yes. My favorite of the Jinjos. The yellow Jinjo. Okay. Now we're missing the blue one, right? Yeah. My broomstick failed with that last blow. Now my legs, I have to go. But you still have your force field up, unfortunately. So I don't think there's much we can do. We probably need to find that... Wow. We probably need to find the blue Jinjo somehow. But also, can we talk about how crazy this is? In terms of, I'm having to really work to avoid these attacks. There it is. I am the mighty Jinjonator. Activate me. That's no good, you stupid jerk. The Jinjo statue will not work. Oh, we'll get it to work all right. Oh, what? It attacked me through that. So we are getting bodied right now. Most notably because the attack is going... Oh, what? So invincibility. The attack is going through the statue. So yeah, we're getting kind of wrecked right now. Look at how low our HP is. So we gotta go on the other side. 
She's just firing non-stop. Wait, come on. Aim, aim, aim. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, we are low on health. Your controller batteries are low. Now is not the time, game. Oh, I thought I was going to be safe. All right, we're going invincible for now. No. No, don't jump. No, come on. Are you kidding me right now? That was literally like it. That was it, guys. Well, let me plug in my controller. Oh, man. Please reconnect controller. We're, we're good. We should be good. I can't even believe that. So, I got bodied there, really. So this is just going to replenish all of our stuff, which is really nice. But I think we were, like, literally right at the end of the battle. Is my stuff doubled? Yeah, it still is. Okay. Wow, so I, I really did not play that well. <laughs> that was kind of embarrassing. But we have learned, and are hopefully going to do a little bit better this time. I guess I should try to not do three egg um, ejections or whatever <laughs> when I can. Back once more, you never learn. That suits me fine. Your butts all burn. <laughs> Alright, so I think we're, yeah, we're starting off the whole battle again. Which is unfortunate, because it is time consuming. But, nevertheless, it is a very cool final boss battle. And it's very human of me to struggle at some point, so... So that's fine for now. What was that? You got me now? You've really angered this old cow. <laughs> So one, and then two, and then one more? Nope, not yet. So yeah, hopefully we'll be able to do better this time around. I think some areas for improvement, again, I would always try to kind of like blast three eggs at a time, and a lot of times only one would count at a time, and unfortunately I would be locked into shooting eggs in the, in the relevant animations for a long time because I was shooting three eggs, and that would lead to me getting hit. So I'm gonna need to probably try to shoot fewer eggs each time, but I'll also need to make sure I'm more accurate then as a result. Okay, let's do this. And now I think we start flying. Magic spells seek out your prey. It's sure to hit, oh happy day. But we are ready for this. We have the Wonder Wing. Rather rough, I'll have to make it tough. Okay. So, at the very least, I mean, for these, it's like three hits per, and then we're good. No pain. Grunty's ready to fight again. Yeah, so it's whenever I do the three hits that it becomes problematic. You see how it changes trajectory as it's coming out? It definitely is homing to a certain extent. Okay, we've got a little bit of a breather. We'll move away. We got two hits in there, which is nice. One. Okay, you're gonna attack again. There are times where she stops for a moment, and that's gotta be my free chance. What? None of those hit? All right, I guess. And that's why I like to do three at a time, because then you can kind of hedge your bet. Darn it. Up in the air, I will be safe. Oof, react to that just in time. Not bad so far, Banjo. Now use your aerial skills against the old buzzard with this fly pad. Oh wait, no, 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 don't do that, don't do that. <laughs> Again, I just remembered, I was like, I had Banjo angled up, but... Uh, he was going to dive right off the tower there, and that would have been less than ideal. You can see how much more slowly she moves in the beginning. So that's one hit. Alright, you got me once again. Prepare to take this suzzle brain. <laughs> Whatever that means. It's obviously some sort of insult. Nice hit. Okay. We got her while she was actually moving that time around, too, which is nice. She's probably going to stop right about there? No. I was too early again. Wow, she's really launching those fireballs. Got all the lightning and the, and the storm in the background. Very intense. That was really bad. 
And again, I'm doing the thing where I'm angling Banjo to try and hit her, but it's really dependent more on my camera than anything. Okay. That should work. If we're that close, <laughs> might be a little bit more difficult to miss. So we'll, we'll do that if we can, right? Let's wait till she stops. And come on up. What? <laughs> he just says, should be difficult to miss. Well, famous last words, right? Come on. Darn it. I really wanted to just turn and then go for it, but... But nope. You can see how much more quickly she's moving, too. And it looks like she's not just stopping at quarter circles. She's going half circles around. Is that gonna hit? No, it's not. Oh, at the very least, I mean, we only need our red feathers for this, right? Come on. There we go. So I think that should do it for this segment. Yeah. Look at me, I'm quite a mess. I need a shield to hide my dress. So we will go on down now. We can heal up a little bit. And try to avoid these. We'll go Talon Trot for the time being. Okay. So let's try and time this. One. Another one. Oh, I was too close. But we're only going to go one at a time again, right? How many do we need? Three, it seems. Okay. But for the time being, this method is working, right? Ah, oh, we start with the yellow one, my favorite. I got greedy. I got greedy. You guys saw it, too. Nice, nice. Aw, oh, man. Can I snipe from here? I got the snipe, but again, I got greedy. Okay, and she is just sniping us. This is unacceptable. We gotta go talent trot here. Oof, you've winded me all winded me all around to catch me to catch my breath, I'm on the ground, I think is what she said. Maybe. So we gotta kinda fake her out, right? You can totally tell that the um come on. Oh, I tried to get Wonder Wing out in time, but didn't quite. You can tell that the shots sort of anticipate where I'm going to be. What, what's all this? How dare you cheat? But I don't care. I can't be beat. I don't know about that, Grunty. So, one, two, three, four, five. And then the homing shot. We're going to go invincible. Come on. Okay. So that's three. Do we need more? It seems like it. Come on, am I really not... How many do I need? Okay. There we go. We'll keep dodging. Dodging. Alright, this is my time. Come on. No, no, no. Aim. Get him in. Come on. <laughs> well, that was a bit of a fail. You can see how many of the eggs we're, we're using up. Okay, come on. Alright, well, we got that, eventually, and overall it's going a bit better than last time, right? We're taking overall less damage. Okay, so it looks like there's only really one more side to get, albeit a tougher side to get because it's in the front. Come on. There we go, come on, please be the end. The Jinjonator. Look at that. Fusing with all of the Jinjos. <laughs> Release the Jinjonator. <laughs> that jaw drop though. It's so derpy, but it's so lovely. I love it. Grunty strength will see me through. When Jinjo's gone, I'll batter you. Doesn't look like Jinjo's going anywhere anytime soon, though. Jinjo Nader is going ham. <laughs> Poor old Grunty set to fall upon this spell. Oh no, call.
<laughs> so down Grunty falls as the tower crumbles too. <laughs> the splat. And then the tomb. Looks like she's stuck. Gasp. Too heavy. Grunty's fate. This should not be. So hurry, Klungo. Rescue me. I don't know if Klungo's gonna be able to do that for you. And with that, we have finally defeated Gruntilda. <laughs> so everybody's... We got our favorite yellow Jinjo. And everybody's chilling at the beach now. <laughs> we got Mumbo in the, in the tree there. We have a waitress. What? <laughs> a rather human-looking waitress, which is pretty odd. We got Blubber and then the Ski 1000. Tootie and Banjo enjoying the, the nice summer sun, the tropical sun. Presumably Treasure Trove Cove. I don't know if it's intentional or not, but the two melons on that tray. <laughs> I'm not sure if that's intentional or not, but... Ah, uh, this is great. Have we finished now, Tootie? Can we relax? Sure, Banjo. You and Kazumi are heroes now. Did you hear that, Shorty? I'm a hero! <laughs> I love this in the glasses. They're so funny. Mmm, yes, I suppose you are. Well done, Kazooie! Thanks, Goggles. You're not so dumb after all. That's enough, Kazooie. Let's all watch the cast list now. Again, the self-awareness of the credits is hilarious. So there's Dingbot. And we're back to the credits again. We've got Klungo. He's struggling there. Topper, the carrot. <laughs> I love that each of the veggies has a name, right? Topper, and then we have Ball. I wonder whose job it was to name them, right? Let alone come up with them. Collywobble. <laughs> That's pretty clever. I like that. I like that. Quarry. Okay, I can see it. I see it. Obviously a pun on Quarry. Gruntling. Okay, fairly straightforward. That one in particular I've seen quite a few times. We've got Ticker, the termite. And then Big Butt. <laughs> I didn't know what that was called, but Big Butt is quite funny. We got the Grublin, okay. Leaky. I always like that name. I love the design, it looks like it was made in MS Paint. Lockup. Fairly straightforward, okay. And then Little Lockup. <laughs> Again, this game has so much charm. Yum yum. Those are so funny. They remind me of the fuzzies from the Paper Mario series. Snippet. And then Shrapnel. So we got a bunch of fun little names here. Snacker. Uh-oh. Scariest enemy in the game, right? Just strikes fear in the hearts of players. Got Gloop. Gloop. <laughs> I love that they included a sound effect. Grill Chompa. Muty Snippet. Maybe as in, like, Mutant? That's a Whiplash. So, we saw all these nicknames, right? But I was wondering, you know, what are the different enemies actually named? Croctus, or what do these nicknames actually correspond to in terms of enemies? We got a Flibbit. <laughs> it's a pretty funny name. A Buzz Bomb. Ah, so that's a Buzz Bomb. The Tip Top Choir. <laughs> the Groggy. <laughs> that's so funny. They're, they kind of make similar sound effects to the when you're walrus banjo moggy soggy and groggy <laughs> those are pretty funny names the twinklies i love those the twinklies they're so funny and then of course the twinkly muncher aptly named sir slush oh that's actually it's actually a very clever name i like that a lot despite not really liking those then the the what chinker Jinxie? Ah, that's what Jinxie is. They're going all through all the levels now, the ancient ones. <laughs> Banjo's face on those is so funny. Grabba. Scabby. Supposed to be maybe like based off a scarab of some sort. Slappa. So there's Grabba and then Slappa. <laughs> it's 
pretty funny. Mum Mum. Hissed up. What I appreciate is they're not repeating all the ones that were shown earlier. That's that's nice. Tumblr, okay. Based off the Tumblr, obviously. Portrait Champa as opposed to Grill Champa. I love that the painting like comes back together afterwards. The Teehee. Which is fitting, I guess. Limbo. Oh, that's actually pretty funny. <laughs> that's quite funny. Ripper. Is that Oh, that's funny, given that it has R.I.P. on the tombstone. A Nibbly. I like that background with the moon in the back. A boombox. Oh my goodness, that's so clever. <laughs> that's so clever. Boss boombox. That's so, that's so punny. Then a Grimlet. I'm not sure I understand the reference there, if there is a reference. Flotsam, there's the code, guys! 312111. There's the code! We're finally finding it! Wow, Seaman Grublin. We finally find the code in the credits. <laughs> Chump. That's actually hilarious. We guessworked it, but... Snare Bear. That's clever. What are these called? Big Clucker. <laughs> well, they're, uh, they're certainly something. The Zubbas. That's what I thought the Buzz Bomb was at first. But no, they're the Zubbas. Grublin Hood. <laughs> so derpy looking. <laughs> then the Whip Crack. Oh, so the whip cracks are different from the whip lashes. Then, of course, we got Cheeto. We found two of Cheeto's locations. I believe there's another one, but... Whoa, back to the beach after taking a look at the credits. Okay, Mumbo's still going after the coconuts. Still have the waitress with a banana, a couple melons, and a coconut, it seems. What does Mumbo have there, though? Hey, Mumbo got secret pictures. Nice one, Bone Brain. What's on them? Got pictures of things you missed. Secrets used in next game. What? Oh, did you hear that, Kazooie? We're going to be in another game! <laughs> Great, so let's see the pictures then, Skirt Boy. Did you get all 100 Jigsaw pieces? Yes. We absolutely did. We sure did, Mr. Mumbo. Yeah, so show us your secrets, Mask Midget. Oof. These terms do not age well. Pictures show things you missed. Secrets that are for new game. Banjo Kazooie. Nuts and bolts? Not Banjo Tooie? Sounds great. Is it any good? <laughs> no comment. <laughs> Mumbo's jaw dropped in awe. That's hilarious. It's almost like the game's self aware of the, the reaction to nuts and bolts. Hey, it better be in it too. Short stuff. Or I better be in it too. Short stuff. Banjo-Kazooie nuts and bolts make Banjo-Kazooie look like joke. Mumbo show you pictures of stuff can use in new game. Here, take a look. Find first secret on the beach. Hey, shorty. How did you make that rock rise up? So this is in Treasure Trove Cove, right? Her, her. Mumbo not telling. So there's a little secret area on Treasure Trove Cove where we can find something, right? Wow, a secret cavern. Baron Bird must climb to top. What's up there, dumb skull? Wait and see, oh filthy feathered one. Gulp. It looks rather high. We can do it though, obviously. Don't worry, Banjo. It looks like I have to get us up there. Aw oh, man, but whoever's playing right now just fell. And then secondly, we saw this actually. Next secret found in snow. That's Waza's cave. In Freeze Easy Peak, obviously. We've already been in here, but, oh, what? Hey, what was that egg for on the beach? Sorry about that. So you can see that. Bird be quiet, watch picture. What's the root here? Core, a uh, giant ice key. I know where I'd like to stick that. <laughs> Kazooie, what? <laughs> Kazooie? That was, uh, that was a lot. And then what do we have here? Another secret can get in desert. Huh. I don't, I don't remember this one well. Nice, Mumbo. Please tell us what the eggs and key are for. The eggs? No, bird rude to Mumbo. Not tell. I wonder what's in here. Ah, uh, huh? It's only another stupid egg. 
So this actually has a lot of history. Wow, how do we get to those? Mumbo not telling. Find out in Banjo-Kazooie, Nuts and Bolts. So I think we can actually explore in Gruntilda's Lair and find those in this game. That last statement made it sound like we need to have started Nuts and Bolts in order to find them, but I think we can find them. At the moment, let's just enjoy the, uh, the sunset as it fades. Oh, and there's Klungo. Uh, rock so heavy. But Klungo must rescue Mistress. All the jiggies you did snatch. But I'll be back for my rematch. I wonder if this is different because we got... Ooh. So there's the game over. I'll let this play for the time being, but interesting that they say game over as opposed to the end, um, which is, well, again, interesting. Yeah, so those secrets at the end. I don't know if that end cutscene was actually different because we actually collected all the jiggies, all the notes, etc., so I'll have to look into that. But those secret collectibles have a lot of history behind them, and I'll do a bonus episode where I collect those secret uh, collectibles, as well as show off a couple other things. There are some things we can do in Banjo's own home that we didn't uh, have the chance to do this episode, and of course there are those collectibles Mumbo mentioned at the end that we can try to get, so there'll be a bonus episode where I find those and then talk about their significance as well, which is um, which is pretty cool. It's, there's a lot of history behind what was called Stop and Swap, uh, related specifically to the N64's technology, so they obviously had a lot to do to translate it to the Xbox, but anyways! I want to briefly talk about my experience with this game, because this is the finale. I love this game so much, it has so much personality, it has so much charm, it's so fun, it's so upbeat, it's so silly, but it's also so competent with its platforming. It has collectibles that are meaningful and fun to find and satisfying every single time you complete a world. The worlds themselves become progressively longer as we go through the game. They become progressively more difficult and complex. They utilize all the skills you put together throughout the rest of the levels. And each level is in itself its own creative environment that has a wonderful theme that is really fun to explore without exhausting the player each time you're done. It's it's an incredible game. I love the, the character behind all of the little voices, the little sound effects that are so playful. The music is incredible in this game. And I've, like I said, I played it a ton as a kid. I never beat it. And then a few years ago, I completed it on the N64. This is my first time playing it on the Xbox 360, and it looks gorgeous. Honestly, this is the definitive way to play this game. The controls were a little bit awkward at times and were clearly designed for the Nintendo 64, but there's no doubt in my mind that this game looks far better on this console than it ever could have on the Nintendo 64. I've played it on N64 on a variety of CRT TVs, HD TVs, etc., and this is just on a whole nother level. And there's obviously the gameplay mechanic of saving your the musical notes that you had found, actually. Um, which came to play in Rusty Bucket Bay for us, that really is a is a big game changer and I think makes a huge positive difference. So, I absolutely loved this experience. It was really fun looking back at Banjo-Kazooie. I'm excited to see what the you know last remaining collectibles will be as well as show off a couple other fun little extras in this game in the bonus episode. So I hope you guys are looking forward to that too. Thank you so much to those of you who watch this. This is a game that is really important to me that I'm really passionate about, and one of the things I love to do with my YouTube channel is share that passion with other people who, if not already passionate about it, who may have the chance to share in what I've gained so much positivity from. And so I hope you guys enjoyed this game just as much as I did. If you haven't played it before, it's super fun to play, even if you've seen it yourself. Um, I highly recommend it. And yeah, I think that, that covers so much of what I wanna say. Thank you so much for all of you who have taken the time to join me on this adventure. I have not completed Banjo-Tooie before. I've actually only played maybe a few hours of Banjo-Tooie. So that is something that is on the horizon. And I'll actually consider if people are really excited about Banjo-Kazooie, 
um, consider playing that for the first time to its completion on the channel. I also, there are a bunch of other rare games that I haven't experienced. I really enjoyed Donkey Kong 64 as a kid. I don't think I'll go back to it now unless some major quality of life improvements are made. But I never actually played Conker's Bad Fur Day, and that's something that's available on Rare Replay as well. So I'm thinking that is something I'd like to do for the channel. So if you guys are interested in a blind run of Conker's Bad Fur Day, let me know, because that's something I'm personally interested in too. And I guess one thing, we can take a look at our file real quick. I wanted to take a look and see what our stats were. So 8 hours, 39 minutes, 100 jiggies, and obviously 100 notes. Whoa, did you see that? <laughs> I'm pretty sure that was different, right? He got like ejected from the chair. That's that's actually really funny. So, whoa, screen was all shaky there. I don't know if you guys saw that. That was pretty nuts. But yeah, I wanted to view totals. So in Grintilda's Lair, we spent a little over a couple hours. Mumbo's Mountain was 16 minutes. Treasure Trove Cove, 26 minutes. Clanker's Cavern, 27 minutes. Bubble Gloop Swamp, 33. So progressively getting longer. Freeze Easy Peak, 47. Gobi's Valley, 40. I felt more competent with that one, or comfortable with that one. Mad Monster Mansion, 42 minutes. Rusty Bucket Bay was 58 minutes. So Freeze Easy Peak and Rusty Bucket Bay, a little bit more expansive worlds. Rusty Bucket Bay was obviously a little bit more challenging. We died a few times in that level. And then Click Clock Wood, an hour and 26 minutes, which is not surprising given all of the, all of the climbing we had to do and, of course, all four seasons. But those are the, the final tallies for our various levels. So I always like to take a look at that. We have 34 Mumbo tokens. I don't know if that's normal or not, but yeah. Um, with that, with that said, I think this is a good time to say in the next episode, we'll explore the last remaining secrets this game has to offer and talk about some final thoughts. It'll be a much shorter episode than the past few have been. And thanks again. I really appreciate all of your support and I really hope you enjoyed this, this game because I really... I really love it. But until the next episode, or the next Let's Play of mine, whatever you decide to watch, this has been Midnight Zero, and this mission is complete.